All right, so today I'm playing a Leth, or Leith, episode one. It is a first-person horror game, and I don't play many of these, um, but this one looked really good, and I thought I'd check it out. So you can get it on Steam for about nineteen dollars. Uh, I think that's the price, but I'll put the link in the description. So yeah, let's just start. Uh, can I move around? My name is Robert Don, and I was born in London. I used to write this sentence countless times in my childhood years, and I remember my father desperately trying to teach me calligraphy. He was a persistent, he was a persistent as a teacher, yet always a caring father. When I grew up, I became a journalist, allowing me to escape his parental gra grasp, to live a life on my own, of my own. A whole new world had opened itself up before me, and I took the leap without a moment's hesitation. Times were tough back then, yet I enjoyed, I was enjoying every single moment my new life had to offer. It was then that I felt it for the first time. It's it is said that you only get one chance to live your life to the fullest and break free. But when my father passed away unexpectedly, he left behind insurmountable debts, thrusting me into a, the abyss. My zeal was tempered by, and my mind clouded. While cleaning up his personal belongings, old memories of him came back to me as if waking from a deep slumber. And as I touched the yellow practice sheets. I wondered how long it would had been since our last writing session together. Underneath the sheets, I found an envelope and inside it was a letter faded with time, which I carefully unfolded. What was written inside shook me up completely. What I had considered my, to be my life, my whole existence was shattered beyond recognition. What did you read? <laughs> I kind of wish there was some voice acting so I didn't have to read all this. But... That day I lost everything. As if it had all been a part of a theatrical shadow play. According to this letter, I was even born. I wasn't even born in London, but somewhere far from here. The unfamiliar postal stamp revealed at, at least that much. Frantically, I searched the attic, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't find anything else about my past. This letter must have been the only thing my father had kept. P perhaps he had a secretly wished he had secretly wished for me to find it after his passing as if seeking redemption. Was I really looking for the origin of my story or was I just chasing a dream? A cheap excuse to abandon my whole old life in search of a challenge, something or somewhere to test my metal, me tell. Just a few of the many questions that occupy my mind as the little boat rocked, drifting f slowly towards my final destination. Alright, so this story's getting really interesting. Can I move around now? The music is awesome. Or the sounds? Kind of an abrupt uh, loading screen. Could have loaded that when while I was reading. All right. At least I don't have amnesia. It's like why? Why did I get here? How did I get here? Wow, that's cool. Gosh. Is there like a piece of wood in my hand? Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh shit. I got uh, has to hurt. Be a man. Pull it out. Oh, dude. Uh, ouch. I was joking about that. I would never do that and just leave it in. All right. Oh, the graphics look really good. It's really sensitive, though. All right. Can I take that? No. I'm already really loving the atmosphere of this game. Oh, nice, you can jump. Press C to when close to objects to interact with them. Oh, you can really crouch. That's awesome. It's like laying down on the ground. Oh. Flashlight. F. The mining company made me an offer on the house yesterday. I hear they need better access to the port, and I wish I could t just take it and leave, but... We don't have anywhere else to go. My parents are long past dead, and even if they weren't, the villagers up the hills are getting sick too. The bodies are pil piling up in the streets. This is the safest place we can be right now. Alright, something went down. It's so dark. What was that? Oh! An empty chest. Oh, that's really cool. You, when you when you move into things, you can knock them over. That's gonna be really cool or interesting to see play a part in the game. I'll probably have to like be really sneaky around things if something's chasing after me. I burned the last of his possessions today, just as the doctor suggested. He told me. That if I don't sh show any of the symptoms within a week, they will allow me to get my son back. The postman told me the rumors he had heard about the sickness. The people said it came from the mines, although I doubt it originated there. Oh, food. Alright, so I have to keep... Do I have to keep eating? So dark. I'm guessing I don't get a flashlight or I have to use a lantern. That's gonna be interesting. I must face reality. My husband is gone and we don't have enough money for money left to, to last another year. Now that winter is right around the corner and with the roof leaking, I will have to start the repairs this week. It won't get fixed by itself. When our eldest son turns 12 next month, he will strong, he'll be strong enough to help with picking olives this year. After that, I'll, I'll have to figure out something out. I just have to. Everything will be alright, we'll make it. Things seem bleak. And I'll eat your, I'll eat your food. Some weird stuff has been happening lately, and I have been hearing strange noises at night. I lock the gate to the to the yard just in case. That's that's really high tech for some reason. That doesn't really fit in this area. Oh shit. Guessing those will play a part eventually. Traps, like setting traps for things. Okay, that doesn't open. Oh, 
Oh, fuck! Holy shit! Oh! Okay, <laughs> it was just a trap. Only use the cargo crane if you're really, if you really need it. It broke down again last week and won't operate properly, properly even sin ever since. Holy shit, I can't read. They told me it, it's got something to do with the compressors, who knows. I asked the maintenance guys to take a look at it last time, but I guess they don't have any time to spare these days. They must have been too busy cleaning up the spills in the mines. I heard it, I hear it was, it has been a real mess down there lately. I'm guessing I have to... Oh. What? What's going on? Oh. Press space bar to jump. Oh, I'm building myself a little bridge. I didn't even get to look over here. Oh, whatever. Alright, point. Can't come back. See if I can go open this door. No. Here? Keep hands clear from the machinery. Uh, guess I have to power this somehow. Shift of sprints. Notice of cessation of activities. What? Due to recent events, all operations at the mine and its accompanying facilities have been suspended indefinitely. Local resi residents are strongly encouraged to keep a safe distance until further notice. Trespassers will be prosecuted and will be dealt with harshly. You have been warned. Take the crate. This game is running really well too, by the way. I'm using DX Story. And that usually has some kind of uh, effect on the on the the frame rate, but it seems like it's running very well. Things explode when you walk over them. Another trap. F you. Trying to get me again. Be gentle with the steam pressure. The carts brakes. The carts brakes often get stuck. Use the pressure control to set the speed instead. There's only a few more days left anyway. The administration ordered the sealing of our tunnels next week. We're going home, Mike. Did there. That's going that way. Then here. What's that sound? 
That's going there, there, there. Alright, so it's going here. Or I'm following it. Whoa! I didn't see you before. You been following me? Alright, so this is where I, I have to go. Yeah. Alright, I knew that had to do... That cart had to, like, smash into that wall. I just thought I was going to be riding in it like Indiana Jones. What is this? Hey, why can't I... Uh, water. Oh, creepy caves. Danger. Corrosive material. Okay. Oh! I'm stuck. Use radar transmitter to save your progress between auto saves. Okay. This game is really cool. I'm really liking it. Alright, let's continue.